On this adventure, we've headed out to Central Oregon with our friends Courtney and Ty. We began our fun at Smith Rock, where we hiked the river trail. Approximately 30 million years ago, a large caldera was formed when overlying rock collapsed into an underground lava chamber. This created a massive amount of rock and ash debris that filled the caldera. The material solidified into rock, forming what is now known as Smith Rock. With over 1,800 climbing routes, it's no wonder rock climbers come from all over the world to climb its towering walls. Ty happens to be a rock climber and decided to give one of the walls a try. Foot. This is, dude, it's deep. It is, dude. Yeah. Smith Rock not only offers rock climbing, but there are several hiking trails of various distances and difficulty levels. As you walk through the canyon, you may even spot golden eagles, bald eagles, falcons, deer, river otter, and beaver. The hardest part is just getting back to the parking lot. Smith Rock was also used as one of the filming locations in the movie Wild, starring Reese Witherspoon. After all that hiking and rock climbing, we worked up an appetite for lunch and a cold beer before setting off onto our next adventure. <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> stop before heading to our campsite was the town of Bend, where we enjoyed beers at Bend Brewing and took a relaxing stroll along the river.
Courtney was kind enough to bring her scottle, which we used to cook pretty much every meal we ate that weekend. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, it's the smoke has cleared qu quite a bit. There's still a little bit of smoke back there. You could probably see. But uh, I think today, after we eat our breakfast, we're going <laughs> to head out. And I might do a hike to a waterfall that I've been wanting to do. And then we might go check out some alpacas. We drove by an alpaca farm yesterday. And Courtney and I freaked out and we want to go back and see them. <laughs> Might do that. <clears throat> and then just kind of see where the day takes us. So How many more of those things rich. you got? One more. <laughs> One yeah, more. do it. A puppy, puppy dog. Heart attack biscuit. Magical? It's actually really good. <laughs> like really good. That with some eggs and bacon <laughs> on it. Damn, that is good. <laughs> Try it. Whoa. Make me off a piece. <clears throat> Please. Something to learn. It does taste like fry bread. Mmm. The proper camp breakfast. After that incredibly filling breakfast, it was time to head out and hike off all that grease. <laughs> right now we're at the Steelhead Falls Trail. It's a two mile out and back, rated easy on all trails. And apparently at the end of it, there's a beautiful waterfall. Oh wait, this sign says the waterfall is in 0.5 miles.
Steelhead Falls is a 20-foot waterfall which cascades into a beautiful cold water canyon pool surrounded by colorful rim rock. Although the smoke from the fires down south was getting pretty bad that day, we still found the hike, canyon, and river to be absolutely breathtaking. The weather was pretty hot, reaching over 90 degrees, and we saw several people taking a dip in the cool, refreshing river. It made us wish we had brought swimsuits as well. Although this trail was rated easy on all trails, I do think they should change it to moderate. There are a lot of really slippery, like steep hills. And if you do hike on this trail, make sure you wear shoes that are good for kind of sandy, slippery trails, lots of little cliffs and rocky, slippery areas. Just good, wear some good grippy shoes. It's a really nice trail. It's a, the falls is about a half mile in, but then once you get to the falls, the trail keeps going for about another half mile, I think, and then turns around and goes back. So it's two miles out and back. That's a really pretty hike. Back out of here, it's definitely not easy. It's not hard, but it's not easy. It's also about 90 degrees outside today, which makes it a little more difficult. Next stop, the alpaca farm. Watch out for that one's teeth. Is he a biter? He's like a scraper. Nice ear piercing you get there. <laughs> noise. He said thanks. He did. Do 
I speak your language? You're so soft. Oh my gosh. Bye. Crescent Moon Ranch is located a half hour north of Bend and has beautiful views of Mount Jefferson, the Three Sisters, and Smith Rock. The ranch has a total of 42 acres, a cute little 1911 farmhouse, and a boutique which sells an assortment of socks, sweaters, scarves, mugs, and pretty much anything with an adorable alpaca face on it. We're back at camp now after a super super fun day. Those alpacas were probably the highlight of my day. Um, we're back at camp now and cook up some dinner and uh, I guess we'll probably just have a lazy evening here at camp and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, get it to cook. Good morning everyone. So we are right now in the town of Prineville. So backstory is we were packing up to head out. Um, and Jason was about to hook the trailer back up and he realized that the trailer hitch on the truck was loose, which could have been pretty bad. We could have lost the trailer. So we don't have a wrench big enough to tighten it really well. So we had to drive into the town, uh, which is about uh, 30 minutes out from where we were staying. And we are now at the Ace Hardware here, right there in Prineville. And they're nice enough here to let him try different sizes of wrenches before he buys one. So that's what he's doing now. He's just trying to find the right size. And then he's going to tighten that hitch, head back up camp, and then we're going to hit the road. But man, at first we were worried because we're like, crap, it's Labor Day. Nothing's going to be open. We're going to be stuck here, which wouldn't be a bad thing. But um, thankfully, Ace Hardware came to the rescue. They were open on Labor Day. And we're trying different wrenches now and get on the road soon. Once we got the hitch fixed, we packed up and hit the road back home. After eating Jason's version of fry bread the other morning, it got me craving some real fry bread, so we made a stop for some at the Warm Springs Reservation before heading home. That fry bread was the perfect way to end this amazing weekend filled with fun, good friends, laughs, and of course exploring so much beauty that Oregon has to offer. Thanks so much for watching. If you've made it this far into the video, why not hit that little subscribe button? It'll mean so much to us. Thanks for your support. Stay safe and stay healthy. I think the rabbit wants some potato juice. Hey, Sammy Shoe! No. Let's get him. Why did you do this? He's like working from the steakhouse, it brings out a
stick. I'm gonna cut it. Oh my god! <laughs>